Hey guys, it's uh, Marcus from TechSheet here, and uh, as you can see, uh, this is going to be an episode about my top 5 Mac apps. Uh, I'm going to do this episode on my own, unfortunately, uh, but uh, here we go. Okay guys, so uh, this is our first app uh, out of the top 5, and it is called Spotify. Uh, Spotify is a streaming music service. Uh, it is available for €10 Euro a month uh, for premium, or it is free. The only problem with this program is that it is only available in some countries. Uh, which you can check out at their website. I'll put a link in the description bar. Um, if you pay, uh, it is 10 euro a month, and um, for that, it includes some features which you can't normally get, which include offline mode, so you can actually download songs, which is legal, uh, and you can get it for your phone as well, uh, iPods, etc. It does not have all phones though, so you'll have to check out if they support your one. Uh, this is available for Mac, Windows, and Ubuntu. And it is a great way for finding new artists. Uh, I'm just going to show you here what I mean by that. Here we have Maroon 5. And it, say you like them, you want to find someone similar, uh, you can just click here. And oh, it seems software update is not used. Cancel. Uh, you can see artists here with similar music taste. And uh, this is streaming, but it doesn't really matter because the music is very high quality and it is almost as though it is on your computer. So I'm just going to play a song here from Room 5 and just show you how quick it is to play. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, that's almost exactly as though it's on your computer. So let's X out of that and we'll go to App Tamer. Now what App Tamer is, it basically makes sure that say you have an app open, but you don't want to quit it because you have something important, but it's taking up all of your RAM. So let's play Spotify here, taking up quite a RAM. You just click it and it won't take any CPU space, making your computer quicker. Uh, another cool feature with this is under here you have a gaming mode and um, what that does that it'll you can just close all applications, well not close, you know, make sure they're not running any, yeah, using any RAM uh, so you can play uh, your game and I've heard that's great for gamers. Now as you can see here it's unlicensed, uh, I don't know how long this will last, um, I've heard it's more, it's a f several weeks though and say you don't want to, and you can pay for it obviously, it's $15 um, but if you don't, you can just download it again. Uh, now let's go into our third app, which is Xcode. Now Xcode w is created by Apple, and this is what it shows when you want to open up a new project. And it supports many different languages, uh, including C++, C, and Objective-C. Unfortunately, these are all languages mostly used by uh, Macs, uh, except for C++. Uh, it looks really, really nice. And um, unfortunately, this app is only available uh, through uh, for Macs through Apple. Uh, you can get this from their website or with the uh, Snow Leopard installed DVD. And I'm just going to open up here a document and just we'll call it test, just to show you what this looks like. Uh, let's see. There we go. And there you can uh, program away. And we'll X out of that. Our fourth favorite app is Coda, and what Coda is, it's an alternative to Dreamweaver. It supports uh, PHP, HTML, and probably uh, CSS, you know, and pretty much every language that you will use for coding, unless you're really hardcore. Uh, it's nice looking, uh, it has a lot of features which Dreamweaver doesn't. Uh, preview, well Dreamweaver does, but it has preview, uh, CSS, and even terminals, so you can uh, connect to your servers. And uh, as you can see, it's real nice looking, and it is a nice way, nice alternative to Dreamweaver if you don't want to play, pay several hundreds of dollars or even thousands. And I think that's about it. As you can see, preview that here. Um, and the fifth app, the last app that we're going to show you, is Adium. What Adium is, it is a chat client. It supports all types of accounts Facebook, Gmail, Hotmail. I can't even name them all, it has that many. And um, it's great. Uh, it comes for uh, you can get it for Windows and Mac. Uh, it's also very customizable. So I'm just gonna show you that if you have time, uh, you can see what it looks like. You know, advanced. You can add a auto reply if you're not there. Uh, you can change the appearance, everything. And it you know it's nice and simple, unlike the other chat clients which you can get. Um, I think that's about it guys, uh, next week uh, hopefully we'll have a better episode, me and Dara, and uh, if Dara has time he'll make an episode on Wednesday. So uh, from TechShit, I'm Marcus Martinson, and I'll see you next week.